mister. Huh? Hello, little girl. What brings you here? I am in search of something, but I cannot seem to find it. Can you help me? <laughs> oh, of course I can. I am Santa. If there's anything you can dream of, I can make it happen. So long as you've been nice. Now, have you been naughty or nice? Um, nice. Good enough for me. Here, pull this magic wish come true device. Okay, wow, there it is. The new Skate Pro subscription I was searching for. Thanks, Santa. Ho, 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 you're welcome. Now I gotta get back to work. So, aside from building strange legs for kitties, what else does Jules do for fun? Well, I've built more than just robot legs. But, uh, I guess hang out with friends. I have a date with Fade tomorrow. Hmm? Date? What is this foreign word Jules speaks of? Oh, a uh, date is when you hang out with someone you're romantically interested in or are in love with. Love? What is that, Jules? Uh... Oh god, okay. Love is when you're happy with someone and always enjoy their company. I hope I'm explaining this right. Wait, so does that mean Lexa is in love with Spaceman? Should Lexa confess her feelings? No, I think he'd take it the wrong way. You know, with how he has a hard time trusting robots and all. What does robots have to do with Lexa though? Uh, zombies! They're after us, Jules! Mmm, I take it everything went smoothly with you guys. Not exactly. We ran into some trouble. Like what? It's not zombies like Kid mentioned, is it? Based on what he described them to be, yes. I came here to drop off Kit, and I'd hate to ask this of you. But Jules, do you think you could watch the child while I'm away? I'm going to talk to the person who may be behind all of this. Oh, oh, let Lexa take care of your pet goldfish. Sure, Lex and I can watch him. We were actually going to run to Retail Row and pick up a Christmas tree. Should be safe. Well, fine. Just be careful. Lexa is conflicted, Miss Jules. Hmm? How so? Lexa has been thinking about this love over and over. Should Lexa propose to Spaceman and have wedding? Uh, well, I don't think you're in love with a Mandalorian. I think you more so just care for him is all, you know, like a friend. Hmm? What is the difference between love and in love? Hmm, I am probably not the best person to talk to about these kinds of things. Why don't we focus on grabbing this Christmas tree first? Of course, Jules. Lexa loves Christmas. Give me your presents. Something feels off about this place. Is it always empty, Miss Jules? No. That's the weird thing. The gates were open, but nobody's around. Let's steal all the Christmas trees! <laughs> Hang on. What if this is related to what Kit and the Mandalorian saw? Something about zombies? Ah, are you referring to the zombies that are slowly creeping up to us, Miss Jules? What? Jules, protect Spaceman's baby! Lexa will defend with her life! Kill mod activated! Uh, Lexa, we got more trouble on the left. Threat detected! Target locked! <laughs> Think that was all of them? No threat detected. How is the safety of Jules and Baby? We're fine. Thanks, Lexa. Of course, Miss Jules. Spaceman will be disappointed if either of you were killed. That is why Lexa must protect. Oh, so you didn't protect me because we're friends? Wait, Jules Lady wants to be friends with Lexa? Uh, kind of thought we were already friends. Wow, really? I'd love to be friends, Jules. Does that mean we say I love you to each other now? Okay, let's not push it. 
We should head back for now anyways. Looks like we'll have to hunt for this Christmas tree some other time. Wonder if the Mandalorian is working on getting all this sorted out. I'm sure he is trying his best. I'm sorry, I am just terrible with names. Could you repeat it again? Daryl. So, you said this place, this island, it's safe from the walkers? Uh, if by walkers you mean zombies, then yes, it's completely safe. Then I'm in. Michonne will be more than willing to join as well. Ha ha ha, fantastic. Alrighty then, Daryl, why don't you scope out the place? Relax a little. Maybe take a shower. <laughs> no, seriously, you kind of stink. N not that it's a huge concern. What, with you surviving the undead for all those years? <laughs> John Jones. Ah, Mando, buddy, how's it hanging? Daryl, this is my good bounty hunter friend Mando. Mando, this is Daryl, our latest member. Hey, that's an interesting get up you got there. Likewise. Man, bounty hunters and killers are so socially awkward. They're all about minimal talking and acting mysterious. Ooh, I'm so edgy. Can you blame me? I've been fighting walkers for years, only to find out there's a whole place where they don't exist. That'd shock anyone. Walkers? What is that? Oh yeah, that's what he calls zombies. You know the undead and stuff? Have you seen any of them in the planets you visited? Yes. There's some here. Wait, what? Near the woods. There was a portal that looked like it led to another location. Inside it, you could hear voices. Oh, <laughs> is that so? You know something about this, don't you? Okay, can someone tell me what is going on around here? <sighs> What's going on is that our friend here seems to have messed up and opened up a portal filled with dangerous creatures. Yes, yes, okay, I messed up. But the first stage to one's improvement is accepting your mistakes. And I fully accept that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some important matters to attend to. Huh. Wait, no, I wanted to quit. What's with that guy? Who is he exactly? I'm honestly not sure myself. Guess while he's gone, I'll just head back for now. Daryl, was it? That's right. I believe he called you... A Mandalorian? Yes. I better head back, but let's keep in contact. Who knows when we might need each other's help. Hmm. Jules, how are things going around here? Oh, Mandalorian. Surprised to see you back so soon. Did you manage to figure everything out? I believe so. Guess we'll find out in a few days. How'd the kid do? The kid's fine now. But while we were out, we met some of those zombies you were talking about. And the kid? Was he hurt? Did he- He's just fine. Thanks to Lexa, we all managed to escape. Lexa helped you? She didn't threaten the child, did she? No, of course not. Listen. I know you're hard on her. She's a droid. She's a robot. But the person that created her built her with love. Lexa is by far one of the most advanced robots I've seen. She's filled with powerful emotions, cognitive thinking, and extreme curiosity. Oh, a present? What is inside? What's the point you're trying to make here? My point is, I'm sure it'd make her happy to know you appreciate her every now and then. I'm not sure if showing appreciation towards a machine will really do much. I've worked with various complicated machines, and trust me, she's different. You should go talk to her. Ah, <sighs> maybe. I'll leave you to it then. Come on, kid. Let's go upstairs, yeah? Why is there a tiny tree inside the ball? Do not worry! Lexa will- <sighs> Hey, Lexa. Oh, hello, Spaceman. Did you come to save Lexa? Not exactly. I heard about what you did back there, protecting the child and Jules. Well, of course. If it makes Spaceman happy to see them alive, then Lexa will protect them with her own life. 
And for that, I wanted to thank you. For that, and for helping me rescue the child the other day. Spaceman, you're being so nice to Lexa all of a sudden. Is, is everything okay? I just thought I should finally thank you. Lexa is creeped out! Jewel's lady! Spaceman has fallen in love with Lexa! Run! Wait, no... Grand Admiral Thrawn, sir. How could I be of service? Prepare my shuttle for takeoff. Uh, going somewhere, sir? I am going to that island to retrieve the asset myself. But, sir, we've got troops down there as we speak. We should be able to handle it from there. And yet every day, I am left disappointed. If you really want to make an impact, then join me in flying down there. Yes, sir. I'll grab some of our best fighters. Excellent. This Mandalorian will finally know the true meaning of war.